Hello viewers, I welcome you to my channel Z Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can make a creative roll-up banner in Adobe, you know, Adobe Photoshop. If you are watching my video for the first time on YouTube, please click the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so whenever I upload video on my, on my channel, you'll be able to watch the video. So the first thing I will, I will do is to make a new document. I'll go to File and click on New. So from this point here, I will type the name of the design. Creative. Roll up banner. Then I'll come here and type my width. We'll type three thousand nine hundred. And I'll type 9,600. Then you make sure you set your resolution to be 300. Then at this point here, your color should be CMYK. Once you are done, you click on Create. And I'll come down below here and make a new layer. Now select my pen tool. And from the property here, I will remove the color field. And I'll apply the stroke color black. And I'll come to the work area and start to use my pen tool to make a sketch. I'll come down below here again to make a new layer. So I can apply color fill to this. And I'll apply the color fill black. And I'll come down here, come to the layer panel here. I'll take the layer to the back of the first layer. And I'll go back to the first layer. And I'll go to edit and select free transform. So expand. Now I'll click on this check mark to accept it.
Now come down below here again and make a new layer. And I'll go back to my pen tools so I can apply operate color. And make another part. Now take it back to this layer. So I press Ctrl T on my keyboard and I will rotate. And I'll come down below here and make a new layer again. And I'll grab my pen tool. So in this case now I can change the color. And I'll make any parts. And I have to take it down below. So the next I'm going to do is to apply appropriate color. I'm going to start from here. I will double click this layer thumbnail here. Then I'll change the color code from this point here. Zero one. Okay, one zero. One four twenty. And I'll click on OK. And I'll click on the other shape and double click on the layer thumbnail here. So I'll change the color code from this point here. Two six C one. D F and I'll click on OK. So I'll click on this layer or double click on the layer thumbnail. So I'll use my color picker and select this color and click on OK. Lastly, I will double click on this layer thumbnail. And from this point here, I will change the color code. Then I'll click on OK. Finally, I'll group everything together. I press Shift key on my keyboard and click on the first shape. Then I'll drag it down here to grow. So I'll name this Shape Style 1. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to right click on the layer from, uh, on the layer on the group layer. Then at this point here, I will select duplicate group, and I will type this to. Then I will click on OK. Next, I will go to my edit. Then I will select free transform. Then I will right click on this on it. Then I will select flip horizontal. And I will right click again and select flip vertical. 
I'll click on this check mark to accept it. Next, I'll go to select and select all. Then I'll click on this particular alignment bottom edge. Then I'll go back to select and click on the select. Next, I'll go to edit. I'll select free transform and I'll drag. I'll go back to my menu bar here, click on this check mark to accept it. Next, I'll play around with the color. So I'll start from this layer. I'll change this color to light blue. Now click on OK. Followed by this, I'll double click the layer thumbnail. I'll select this color. Now click on OK. I'll double click on this layer. And I'll select this blue. And I'll click on this layer also. I'll double click on the layer here. I select this color. Good. I'll click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my background layer. Next, I'll go to I'll go to file. Click on place embedded. Then I'll use this picture here. I click on place. And I will resize the image, shift key and alternative key on your keyboard and drag it out. And I can position my picture. And I'll come to my image layer, right click on it, select Restrict Layer. And I'll go to my toolbar and select my rectangular marquee tool. And I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard. And I'll press Ctrl T, keyboard, and I'll drag. Same thing, I'll go back here and select my rectangular marquee to I'll drag over. And I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard again and my V to remove to. I'll press Ctrl T to open the transform tools and I'll drag it off. So now I can apply text to my banner. Then I'll come down below here and make a new layer. I'll go to my toolbar and select text to. I'll type the company name.
I'll press Ctrl A to highlight and I'll change the color to white. Sorry, to this sky blue. And I'll increase the font size. I'll change the text position to the center line. And now I highlight the bottom text. I'll change the color to yellow. I click on OK and OK. I can go to select from my menu bar, select all, then I can align to the center, then to the top. And go back to my select, click on the select. And I can move down with my arrow key. 